SpaceX is actively preparing for the third flight of its massive 400-foot-tall Starship rocket and following the completion of a static fire test of Ship 28 and the positioning and testing of Booster 10 at the Starbase launch site in South Texas. This progress comes just one month after the second flight of Starship, with the upcoming test potentially including an in-space propellant transfer and a controlled landing in the ocean near Hawaii. SpaceX conducted a successful static fire test of Ship 28's six Raptor engines, showing no evident damage to the rocket or the ground systems. And concurrently, Booster 10 was moved to the launch pad and conducted a fueling test, but had a possible ground systems failure. But there's no official word on the progress of that test. The next step for the booster could be a possible retry of the last test, or if SpaceX is confident that they can move forward, they'll static fire the booster. And following these tests, SpaceX plans to stack the Starship upper stage atop Booster 10, nearing completion of the launch vehicle for the Integrated Flight Test 3. This step is called a fit check, and the support teams make sure that the ship, booster, and all the hardware and software are in tune. And while the ship and booster are connected, SpaceX ground support teams will conduct a full cryogenic test and will fill the booster and ship with fuel to make the system flight ready. The third Starship flight aims to advance its flight profile, including a controlled ocean landing and possibly an in-space propellant transfer, though this remains unconfirmed. The second Starship launch in November demonstrated marked improvements over the first attempt, notably engine reliability, and the execution of a complex hot staging maneuver. Kathy Leaders, who's SpaceX's general manager for the Starbase launch site, hinted at targeting the first quarter of 2024 for the third test flight. Post-second flight, SpaceX has made minimal hardware modifications, suggesting software-related issues. A regulatory approval for the FAA is still pending for Flight 3 following their designation of a second flight as a mishap and Ship 28 and Booster 10 were swiftly transferred to the launch site following the second flight, with Ship 28 undergoing a series of tests, including a recent spin prime test. And SpaceX's dismantling of Orbital Pad A to build a second launch tower suggests a shift in testing locations, potentially centralizing engine tests at the Massey's facility. Now, preliminary tests with Booster 10 involved partial fueling, followed by a lengthy hold and eventual safe depressurization. And this indicates an ongoing diagnostic process for the booster. No word on if the ground systems were affected during this testing. And SpaceX is now waiting for the FAA approval for the third flight. Now, the next super heavy flight intends to reach orbit, splash down near Hawaii, with NASA already planning to use a modified Starship for lunar landings and potential crewed missions to Mars. And recent inspections by Elon Musk revealed the Starship launch pad robustness, requiring no refurbishment post-launch, and a significant improvement from the first test flight's pad destruction. Despite two explosions in the second flight, the Starship's upper stage achieved separation and spaceflight, albeit not reaching orbit, and the launch pad remained intact, signaling readiness for future attempts. And NASA's commitment to using Starship for the Artemis III lunar mission hinges on successful orbital tests, in-flight refueling, and a lunar landing test, with SpaceX transitioning from Texas test flights to operational flights from Kennedy Space Center, or KSC, sometime in the next few years, with a second possible tower being added to Starbase in 2024. Now, SpaceX is constructing a second crew-capable launch tower at Cape Canaveral, replicating the Texas pad improvements. And this is with NASA and FAA closely monitoring and regulating Starship's development for commercial launches in the future. Now, once SpaceX proves the reliability of the Starship launches from Texas, they will start launching directly from Kennedy Space Center and also from Starbase in Texas.